obviously, like, I mean, every fight in your career at this point is big, right? But does this feel like a, a big moment for you, a big opportunity? Yeah, for sure. I mean, um, it, it, every fight, like you said, it's, every fight's a big opportunity. Um, got a super tough opponent in front of me. Uh, I know a lot of people are going to start fielding questions about what comes next and who could possibly be next for Kamaru Usman. And I know I had touched on it, like, prior to the fight being signed and early on in the camp. But at this point, I just – I'm not looking far ahead. I'm not looking at who could be next or what could come after this fight. Uh, I'm just solely focused on Vicente Luque. It would be a mistake for me to start, you know, talking about what comes next because I got a tough-ass fight ahead of me. Yeah, no question about it. Back in front of a sold-out crowd, right? I mean, you did pretty good with that one, but are, are you excited to have that, or does it even matter to you once you get in there? Oh, it matters a ton to me. You know what I mean? I uh, I, I love the fans. Um, they're, the, they're the beating heart, the backbone of the sport. I always say that. we None of us would be here. You guys wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be here if we didn't have people tuning in for these fights. So, uh, I, I'm very excited to get out there in front of a super tough crowd. The only thing it's missing is I wish my teammate was fighting with me on the card still. That was a shame. Uh, you talk about Sunday being dangerous. What, what about him makes him dangerous? I know you, you, you're the analyst, right? So what do you see in him that makes him a danger? 18 finishes and 20 fights. I think that's uh, that that would classify as pretty damn dangerous. I think that stat's right. I could be wrong. I'm not sure. Winging it, but. Uh, yeah, I mean, and it's not just the punching power. I mean, he's got submissions. We saw what he did to Tyron Woodley, a guy that's never been submitted in his career, and uh, somehow he got his neck. Tyron doesn't really have a neck. He's pretty stacked, you know, so he found a way to get to his neck, and that makes him dangerous. It's, it's, it's the dual threat. You know, he can submit you. He can knock you out. Um, that's what makes him super tough. That's what makes him super dangerous, and, uh, you know, he's not afraid to go for it. So, yeah, that's uh, – that's what makes him so dangerous. So you think it's unfair? Like some people, I think it's, like it's you know, if it's on the feet, he's winning the fight. If it's on the ground, you're definitely winning. I mean, do you feel like it's, it's even dangerous on the ground for you? Is, is this not a striker versus grappler fight? It, when you get to this level, man, every, everybody's going to be dangerous everywhere, especially like for him, you know, it's like him fighting a guy that's done what I've done historically in the way that I fight. You know that he's trained and, and he's trained to address those things. But that goes both ways. I'm trained to address the things that, address the things that he does very well. And, uh, and we did that, and I'm sure he did as well, and that's what's going to make this a tough fight for both of us. It's not going to be – whoever gets their hand raised, it ain't going to be no walk in the park. It's going to be a tough-ass fight. So, um, yeah, it, it's going to be a good one. I know you said for sure you're not looking ahead, but, I mean, as you look at the division, do you think you can make a case that this is a number one contender fight despite all those names that are, that are there saying they deserve next? Yeah, I don't know, man. I just – I'm just focused on this. I really – I'm I, – we'll, we'll, we'll see where the cards fall after this, you know. Um, I'm not looking far ahead. I'm not looking past this guy. I'm not going to say, like, oh, I, yeah, I should be the next guy or this or that. I just I just want to be focused on Vicente Luque. I don't want to – something will slip through the cracks if I'm thinking about who could be next for who or who should get the next title shot or anything of that sort. Uh, I think it would be a huge mistake on my part to, to be sitting up here talking to you guys about who should be next for the title or who should be next for anything. Yeah, I, I just think it's best for me to just stay focused on him, and that's where I'm at. That's fair. Last thing for me, what kind of fight do you think we see? I mean, is this a fight you think you can go dominate, maybe make a statement, or you, you think you're going to be in for a, a battle? I think I'm in for a battle. You know, if, if, it, <laughs> if it's the earlier, the two, great. <laughs> that would be awesome. But, yeah, there's, there's no guarantee in that when you're fighting a guy in Vicente Luque. I mean, he's a guy, before I was ever at welterweight, I'll, I'll never forget his knockout over Urbina, one of my favorite knockouts in the UFC. And now I'm like, oh, i got to fight the guy who's got one of my favorite knockouts in the UFC. Great, you know, <laughs> but – uh, you know, to get to where I want to go, to, to get to where, where I want to go in the sport and where my goals are, you know, this is the guy that I got to fight to get there. So uh, whether I walk through the fire or whether it's a, you know, smooth sailing, um, I'm ready for whatever. But I, I anticipate a really tough fight. See you guys.